how will your student write their use their own UC story right that's what it's all about G gaining those opportunities to become all God calls you to be to fulfill those burning passions and talents that are deep inside you and empowering students to do what makes them happy and how and will allow them to excel in life we are um, here at Union Catholic, we are led by our core values. Every decision that we make, it comes from these core values, compassion, honesty, responsibility, respect, and community. That is our guiding light here at Union Catholic. And let's talk a little bit about academics, because, you know, we talk all about the extracurriculars and the events, but the academics, of course, is the backbone uh, of Union Catholic. And here at UC, your student will be able to have different, their needs met with six learning levels from freshman foundations all the way to advanced placement. Uh, our students um, have a lot of academic success. We are proud to say that we have 100% college acceptance. Students can earn college credits while they are students here at Union Catholic through our Fairleigh Dickinson program. And our graduates are attending top colleges and universities, just to name a few on this list. So we have alums that go on to do great things. Here is an example of one. Here is Sean Cyburn, class of 2011, who is um, a doctor and he went to Rutgers Medical School. Just one example. Here's another one, David Thornton, class of 2010, orthopedic surgical sales rep. Union Catholic gives you the tools to succeed no matter what you want to do. Uh, one of the greatest things about being here at Union Catholic, especially in this virtual world, is our tablet learning program, ensuring educational success. Every student has a tablet. We utilize our Canvas learning management system with wireless technology, smart board technology, a virtual library, a virtual high school program, right? So, for example, when I was a senior, I was part of one of the first virtual high school um, programs where my senior year, I was able to take screenwriting as, as a senior at Union Catholic in a virtual class. That was so important because it really set me up for great success when I applied to NYU. Very impressive. Okay. We also have uh, an in-house service repair and loaner program. So we are at the cutting edge of all of this technology. Let's talk about Canvas. And that is our fun fact number two. Canvas is our learning management system that debuted at Union Catholic in 2014. All right. So just to give you a little preview of what a Canvas page might look like, every teacher in every course has their own Canvas page. And here on Canvas, students are able to have access to everything. Announcements, their assignments, their discussion boards, their grades, their, their syllabus. They are able to take quizzes and tests. They are able to collaborate with each other. All of their homework is available on the calendar. They are able to communicate with their teachers. Um, uh, and it's, it's just this wonderful tool. Here is another example of a, a, a page on Canvas with various resources and links. And here is an example of a Canvas calendar where students can see their assignments when they are due, uh, their tests and quizzes, so they don't have to worry about writing anything down or forgetting anything. It's all centralized and all available here on our Canvas learning management program. And as I said, students are able to take their quizzes on Canvas, have discussion boards as well, which is great, you know, especially for students who might not be as comfortable, you know, discussing in class, they're able to discuss with their classmates online. And so, you know, what we pride ourselves in is anywhere, anytime learning, right? And what Canvas and all of these other initiatives allowed us to do was have seamless instruction, 
right? On Friday, March 13th, we were having face-to-face -face instruction. On Monday, we were able to go to complete remote seamless instruction through Canvas. No one, you know, no one was confused, no one had to scramble. Students were ready and prepared to finish the year remotely because of the tools that we had in front of us. So what is anywhere, anytime learning? Learning does not begin or end in the classroom. Students have the opportunity to Zoom with their teachers, to email. We are in constant contact with each other, okay? This is a comfortable, safe place to share our ideas. When is permissible, we go on field trips and educational opportunities. There are guest speakers, both in person and on Zoom. Inventive lessons such as breakout boxes, creative projects, peer editing, and differentiated learning. Because here at UC, we prepare students for the virtual world. And you know, I don't think we even realized how virtual our world would really be. But it, it just goes to show how we're, we are prepared for anything, okay? Here's another example of who you could be. Here's Tom Wang, class of 2013, Google engineer. So let's talk a little bit about student life. A huge part, again, education is not just in the classroom. We have many diverse clubs and activities, over 50 of them here at Union Catholic, ranging from the Big Brother, Big Sister program, service clubs, student movement against cancer, forensics, peer ministry, Project Haiti, the Performing Arts Company, UCTV, and many, many more. So when I came in as a freshman at Union Catholic, I auditioned for the fall play. I auditioned for the spring musical. I was encouraged to join the forensics team. People and teachers reached out to me because they, they saw my potential and, and asked me to audition and join certain teams. And because of that, I felt welcomed into a community, becoming part of a family. Fun fact number three, UC students performed an off-off-Broadway in an original play in 20, 2009, 2013. We tell our students that the opportunities are limitless. Okay, another example, Jeanette Rudnicki, class of 2009, is an associate producer at A&E Networks, and Taylor Fields is a New York City-based dancer, singer, and actress. UC prepares you for college. Again, we have 100% college acceptance and the real world. Let's talk about athletics. Now, I don't know if you could tell this by looking at me, but um, I never participated in a sport at Union Catholic. So I'm not the best person to speak about sports, but I know many on our panel are. Um, so I will let them talk in detail about sports, but I uh, spent a lot of time uh, in the stands cheering uh, cheering them on, uh, but that was um, kind of the, the limit for my participation in the sports program. But that brings me to fun fact number four. I did come to the Olympic Village to see UC grad Sydney McLaughlin, class of 2017, in the Olympics while she was a UC student. That was truly incredible. And as, as always, as we always mention, Union Catholic truly is a community. We are a faith-based environment built on our core values. We have students from 71 different sending communities within nine counties. We have an international program attracting students from six different countries. Our student body, 48% male, 52% female, and our students come from various ethnic, religious, and socioeconomic backgrounds. Our diversity is our strength. And a fun fact number five, every morning our principal, Sister Percy Lee Hart, greets students as they arrive 
at the front door when they arrive to school. Um, a little different this year, of course, um, but it's just so, so wonderful to be greeted by Sister Percy Lee to start our day, telling us to do our best, telling us good morning, um, you know, chatting with us. Uh, it's, it's really wonderful um, and, and a great connection to our principal. So what does it mean to be part of the UC community? You're gonna get support at all academic levels, at school counseling, grief counseling. If you're struggling, there are tutors and homework room. There's big brother, big sisters. And your school day isn't just from 7.55 to 2.10. We have before school activities, club periods, events, assemblies, pep rallies, trips, and beyond. Clubs, homework room, the after school cafe, and we already mentioned the multitude of UC events to uh, to get together with our community. In addition to that, we have many social justice initiatives uh, and service projects. Union Catholic prepares you for life in the spiritual world. We prepare you, your students for life in many ways, empowering your students to become all God calls them to be. Your students are the next generation of scientists, mathematicians, writers, performers, athletes, thinkers, doers. They are unique, talented individuals who will leave their mark on our UC family and the world. And to continue our presentation today, there, I would like to um, transition now to our panelists, okay, who's going to, going to be able to tell you more about their UC stories and how they be, how UC helped them become who they are. So I'd like to um, introduce our first alumni speaker, Janessa Mendoza, class of 2018. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and thank you, Mr. Rotundo, for that awesome presentation. I loved reliving my UC experience through that. Um, once again, my name is Janessa Mendoza, and I'm currently a junior at Georgetown University studying human science and psychology on the pre-med track. I graduated from Union Catholic in 2018, and I attribute UC to so many of my successes in college, no matter how big or how small. I started out in UC uh, in 2014, yes, as a shy, quiet freshman with Mr. Rotundo as my writing teacher. But throughout my high school years, I eventually broke out of my shell and there was no way that freshman year Janessa would even envision herself speaking as a future panelist for prospective families. Um, at UC, I was involved in many different things. I was part of the Accelerated Program, Students for Human Dignity Club, girls basketball team, student council, and student ambassador, just to name a few. Just to name a few. Uh, I explored many other clubs and activities like volleyball, for example, and I was welcomed with open arms, even though I had never played before stepping foot onto UC's court before. Uh, being on the volleyball and basketball teams were so rewarding, especially when there would be whiteouts or blueouts, where fans would fill the stands wearing either white or blue and cheering us really loudly. Uh, by being able to excel in a community of diverse people, I was able to learn about many different cultures, such as those of the international students. Every teacher was also easily approachable and willing to help, whether it was for academic advice or life in general. I learned that reaching out to teachers for help was not a sign of weakness, but rather an act of determination. They ensured the students that we wouldn't feel intimidated and truly contributed to the tight-knit community that UC is known for. And I'm very happy to say that I'm still in touch with many of the faculty members and other UC alumni today. In terms of transitioning into high school, having laptops was a convenient learning tool since it helped me organize all my assignments in one spot. Additionally, the online platform UC uses for assignments and exams called Canvas was extremely beneficial to have since I have been using it in college to this day, and I know many other colleges use the same platform. It helped that I didn't have to spend time in college to get used to how Canvas worked, especially because there would be Canvas training sessions for new UC students. I can easily keep track of my grades, homework, exam dates, and other due dates without worrying. Currently, Georgetown is fully virtual for the entire school year. 
However, when I was at UC, we would have several virtual learning days throughout the school year in which assignments were done at home. It seems like now every day for me is a virtual learning day, but looking back, I'm really grateful that UC helped me familiarize with managing my time at home to do schoolwork online. Overall, with the academic enrichment and the supportive community that UC provided, I was able to strengthen my work ethic, develop my interpersonal skills, and have an easier time transitioning into college. Throughout my time at Georgetown, I've been a retreat leader, a teaching assistant, an emergency medical technician, and the president of Club Filipino. I am in the process of conducting my own scientific research with the overall goal of becoming a doctor in the future. I have UC to thank for instilling in me the courage to pursue all these positions and for shaping me into a more well-rounded, diligent, compassionate person. I can wholeheartedly admit that UC is a family that does not stop growing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Janessa. I can't believe our writing class was so long ago. My goodness, time flies when you're having fun. And I think it was your first writing class. Yes, it was, absolutely, <laughs> wow. Making me feel old, Janessa. <laughs> um, thank you, Janessa. Our next alumni speaker is TJ Hartnett, class of 2014. Thank you, John. Um, as John mentioned, uh, my name is TJ Hartnett, um, Union Catholic class of 2014, originally from Clark, New Jersey. Um, after Union Catholic, I attended Boston College, graduated in 2018, a uh, double major in marketing and communication. And currently I work for NBC Universal in New York City as a strategic marketing coordinator for the Creative Partnerships Group and currently reside um, in New York City as well. Uh, to go back to where my journey started at Union Catholic, um, I was lucky enough to just grow up a few minutes away from UC, very close in Clark, and had a brother two and a half years older than me who made the decision to go to Union Catholic and set a, a pretty solid path for me to follow. I attended St. John the Apostle School in Clark slash Linden, New Jersey, um, and that transition with friends, with uh, family, with devoted faculty made the UC community such a great transition for me. Uh, the community really welcomed me with open arms back in 2010, a decade ago, uh, as crazy as that sounds. Um, and I'm still part of the community today, as you can see. Um, and as I mentioned, from lifelong friends to influential faculty uh, to mentors gained, um, Uni Catholic really set a, a solid foundation for me to go on from um, into college and then into my present career. Um, one of the biggest things that, that Mr. Rotundo mentioned throughout is that combination between extracurriculars and academics that I think helps so much in terms of my formation um, as a student and as a person. That combination of premier academics and the variety of extracurriculars offered really sets a solid foundation from um, the knowledge that's gained to the maturity and the confidence that one can attain. Uh, so whether it was team building and leadership in my four years of, of baseball at Uni Catholic or being an ambassador um, in gaining invaluable public speaking skills through my four years on the forensics team, as well as being a host on UCTV, um, to making true measurable impact with some of the volunteer groups that we have, like Student Movement Against Cancer, or raising money for cancer awareness. Um, and then ultimately, what I think is one of the greatest pillars is, is the opportunity to pioneer and have a school invest in something as great as the live stream program that currently Currently, um, Union Catholic has done such an amazing job with, and it was my first year, uh, or my, my senior year, and which was the first year of the live stream program of, of broadcasting sports around the globe for the UC community to check out, um, whether it be sports or events and so on and so forth. Um, that was such an incredible opportunity for someone um, as a high school student and, and ultimately having aspirations in the entertainment industry. Academically, I think the school speaks for itself in terms of where kids go, the top tier universities, and ultimately uh, the devotion that Uni Catholic faculty has in their students. So whether it be in-person AP or virtual AP accelerated um, honors classes that I was lucky enough to take, they all help set that foundation for where I would go at BC. Uh, transitioning a bit to Boston College, um, I was lucky and confident enough to, to take great strides at BC in that balance of extracurriculars and academics. Um, I was in the honors program at the Carroll School of Management, uh, one of the best business schools in the country, um, and I connected with professors automatically based on the relationships that I had um, through Union Catholic and the confidence that was gained uh, through my time and the relationships that were built and the doors that were opened um, at the school. 
one of the greatest things that I had the opportunity to do at Boston College um, was pursue my dreams in uh, broadcasting and entertainment. And I um, was a leader uh, for the sports run radio station, got to travel around the country and actually globally as far as Ireland um, with Boston College Athletics, as cool as that was. Um, and again, that foundation that was set at Union Catholic was something that was truly invaluable to where I was going to go. After Boston College, um, I was lucky enough to uh, gain an opportunity with NBC Universal, where I currently uh, work today, two and a half years out of school. Um, and getting the opportunity to work for one of the top media companies in the world um, really led me um, to, to um, how I was going to move forward as an individual and ultimately um, the confidence that was gained through, through my time at Union Catholic and beyond. Um, as a marketing strategy coordinator, I get to partner with some of the top tier global brands throughout the, the entire world and get to pair them with some of the top shows and talent throughout the NBC Universal portfolio. And I'm lucky enough to use my academic background, whether it be marketing or the foundations that I gained at Union Catholic, and combine that with the communication skills that are so invaluable today. Ultimately, in this crazy world, I'm just extremely grateful to have had the opportunity to attend Union Catholic. And I know that I speak for my brother, class of 2011, my other brother, class of 2019, and my sister, a current junior in class of 2022, who all echo this sentiment. Um, though it's been 10 years since I walked through those gym doors, I still feel like I'm part of the family. And even when I jump onto something like this, I'm uh, welcomed with open arms. And it's, it's like the years haven't even gone by. So an investment in Union Catholic is investment in your, your child's present growth as well as their future success. And it's one that will stay strong through friendships, through networking, and through opportunities. So uh, thank you for coming tonight, and I'm, I'm happy to share my story. Thank you, TJ. That was great. And um, so many great times on the forensics team, right? You know, those Baltimore forensics uh, nationals. That was Chicago, great. too. And Chicago. That's right. Good time. I, sure. I knew you before you were Professor John. So if you yes. want to date yourself, we'll go with that. <laughs> yes, that's so true. Very, very true. Thank you again, TJ. Our next speaker is our parent speaker, Mrs. Diane McGinnis. Thank you, Mr. Rotundo. Good evening. My name is Diane McGinnis, and I am happy to be on this panel tonight to share my perspective as a parent on the benefits of a Union Catholic education. My family is considered a legacy family at Union Catholic, or as Mrs. Thornton said, we bleed blue. My brother was the first in my family to go to Union Catholic, and he attended UC back in the 1970s. Uh, it was separate boys and girls school at that time. And as a little girl, I actually remember being in the building many times when my own parents would be volunteering for different uh, parent events, and I would kind of get dragged along. And then 12 years later, I graduated from Union Catholic in 1986. I currently live in Scotch Plains with my husband and three children. And my children attended the Scotch Plains Family Public School System through eighth grade. When my son Bobby was in Terrell Middle School, and it was time to start thinking about high school, he actually said, most of my friends are going to Scotch Plains Family High School. He said, why would I want to go to Union Catholic. We said we would never force a school upon him and ultimately it was his decision. I figured if he didn't go to UC, maybe one of my daughters would. I was hoping one, one of my ch children would go. Well, after going to an open house, attending freshman for a day, learning about all the benefits of a Union Catholic education and speaking to many others, he was actually begging us to let him go to Union Catholic. Um, he actually thrived at Union Catholic. He eventually became student council president during his senior year. And we believe it was an opportunity that he probably wouldn't have had um, at the public school. Union Catholic truly allowed Bobby to step outside of his comfort zone. And he was able to strive to be all that he could be, which is a theme that you've heard many times. And it's very true. In addition to holding that leadership position, he played basketball for two years. He played baseball for four years. He was a student ambassador and he was involved in various other clubs, including other leadership positions. Bobby did well in his classes and he graduated in 2019 and he made a 
great group of friends at UC. So there were his doubts, but he, and one of them is actually uh, TJ's brother is one of his best friends. Um, he's extremely happy with his decision. He never regretted it. And he's currently a sophomore at Loyola University in Maryland, and he's studying business with a minor in communications. And the communications aspect is mainly due to his opportunities doing live stream at Union Catholic. He really, he, that was one of his favorite things. Um, you know, broadcasting basketball games and, and it really gave him an opportunity again, which Union Catholic allowed him. Now our daughter, Claire is a senior and through Bobby, she really saw the benefits of a quality education in a faith-based environment. She took advantage of the many opportunities that UC has to offer. She, um, academically, she's involved, she challenged herself to take many AP classes and she's really working hard to get good grades. She played soccer. She did a year of golf. She tried lacrosse and, she, you know, she, well, unfortunately, due to COVID, um, one season, last season didn't happen, but she is also a member of the Performing Arts Company, which is one of her favorites. She is a student ambassador as well, and she's on the board of the service club and president of the Crayon Club, and she is a member of student council. So as you can see, Union Catholic, not just the academic side, but they really allow students to really try a variety of different things that you might not normally be able to. Um, my children have different personalities and they have different strengths and interests, but Union Catholic enabled each of them to grow as an individual. Now, eighth graders, I can't say enough positive things about Union Catholic. Not only will you receive a quality education from a dedicated staff of teachers, but there's also a strong sense of community, as was also mentioned. My family and I always feel like that we are part of the UC family. It's a community of caring, compassion, and respect for others. And we believe that serving others is also a very important aspect. And UC um, is big on, on the service aspect. Union Catholic prepares the students well for their future beyond the doors of the school. We've been going through the college application process again. Um, we went through it with Bobby and we're going through it with Claire currently. And I have to say, Union Catholic has been excellent in guiding both of our children through this process. Um, right now, Shannon is an eighth grader at Terrell and it's hard to believe that she's ready to start her high school years. And she too wants to be part of the Union Catholic community. She is always greeted warmly by staff when they see her and she already feels part of the family and she knows that being a member of the class of 2025 would be a perfect fit for her. So there are many events for parents also, as I mentioned, Tricky Trey was one of them, but um, there's also many ways to get involved. So not only can the eighth graders be part of this great community, but all the parents can be part of this great community as well. We hope to see all of you at UC next year. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. McGinnis. It was it was great teaching, you know, Bobby and Claire, and and working with Claire on the on the fall plays, uh, especially these past two years uh, in Clue and Love Awkwardly. Awesome. Um, our next uh, panelist is student speaker Avon Ajapan, class of twenty twenty two. Avon. Uh, good evening, everyone. As they've said, my name is Yvonne Ajapon. And as a current student of UC, it's been very interesting so far in the school year, especially starting off at, at Union Catholic, originally being fully on campus, but now transitioning into what we have into hybrid learning or completely virtual. And I'd say that honestly, I'm very proud of UC for being able to still engage the community even now as someone who has gotten to experience what it's like to go into school once a week in our virtual system right now. So some of the ways we've been engaged as a community includes our club periods where even now we can still get onto Zoom and visit different club periods, of uh, different clubs that we'd wish we could see even now it'd be even better through Zoom where you can go even faster to different clubs that you may wanna visit. We also had just finished, I believe uh, two weeks ago, our first SDSN of the school year where due to our grades being split up by days, we were able to spend the entire week in different SDSNs where, which stands for, I'm sorry, by the way, is a schedule dedicated to student needs. So students got to choose different activities for their own needs that 
really was a comfort, you know, during the rigorous school year, which included um, playing Among Us, which I hope many of you eighth graders have been getting to play, um, as well as coloring and walking around the UC track and even doing yoga in the gym with some of the gym teachers. We've also had like several events that have been virtual, such as these um, admissions programs, admissions events that eighth graders have gotten to go to, as well as programs for our own students, such as the virtual pep rally that we were able to have, including, as well as the virtual NHS ceremony, the National Honor Society, which I was able to take part in, thankfully. And speaking of the NHS, our community is also engaged in the fact that if you need help, there's no barriers through what you may believe through the screen, but even more engagement with your community and through what you can access, as well as the tutoring program through the National Honor Society. So when you need the help that you need, you can get it. It's right at your fingertips, especially with the way we're connected through our technology. And then we've also been able to connect with students through our virtual spirit days, which we've run through online, as well as our Halloween costume competition, which was as a member of student council, it was wonderful to judge and to see all the different costumes that people got to wear in their homes and how the students were still interacting with one another in this way as well. And even despite the changes that may come with virtual learning, I hope that our incoming freshmen who may be watching right now know that we still are keeping you in mind as we just had at the start of the school year, our freshman field day. So the freshmen are still getting the experience that they were meant to have in coming to a wonderful place such as UC. And even then, we still are looking into our students' lives personally, not just as a community with our future Fridays and seeing what our amazing students here have been able to achieve. And I just know that I'm so proud to be a student here at UC. And being on campus before, UC feels like home, but now home feels like UC. Thank you. Thank you so much, Yvonne. And I'm so glad you mentioned our social media presence because that's a great, um, great uh, thing to, to tell everybody to follow us on Instagram, uh, as well as Twitter and Facebook at Union Catholic High School. Um, we have a lot of great content. It's a great way to, to see all of the things we have going on. So thank you for mentioning that. Uh, finally, tonight, our uh, last student speaker is Nick Hart, class of 2021. Nick? Hey, good evening, everybody. As Mr. Tano said, my name is Nick Hart, uh, senior here at UC. Uh, as I'm sure you guys have heard, you know, over and over again, this year is unlike any other year we've ever had to go through. And uh, it's been a very difficult year for everyone. Especially, I really feel for the high school students, especially uh, my class of seniors going through the college application process and all that stuff, having to do basically everything virtually. But um, being able to fill out my high school up or my college application, excuse me, and look back on my past four years at Union Catholic really provided me with some great insight as to how much Union Catholic has allowed me to grow as a person. Uh, coming into UC four years ago, I can honestly say I was, you know, a timid little freshman that really wasn't, you know, all into public speaking, would never be able to do an event like this. Uh, you know, I walked into Mr. Rotundo's writing class and barely said two words. And then three years later, he had me for English and it was a totally different story. Uh, UC not only has provided me with some, some, uh, some great education and some great opportunities, but I've also been able to learn some really great life lessons. Uh, one of my favorite things that I've been able to learn from UC was to uh, speak in public. Um, like I said, coming in as a freshman, I wasn't able to do that very well. And through, you know, just teachers giving presentations in class, certain classes I've taken, uh, digital journalism, uh, the broadcasting program, the live stream program, as TJ mentioned before, all were great things that allowed me to build up my confidence as a speaker and to be able to you know, become more efficient and be able to do events like this and other things as an ambassador. Um, I always say, whether I'm doing events like this or I'm doing tours in the school, that UC is not just a great place for the for for your for your four years of high school. It's a great stepping stone for the future. UC has allowed me to put so many things on my college resume that I never thought I would have the opportunity to do four years ago coming into this school. Uh, just to name a few, uh, being a part of so many clubs, part of the business club, part of the investing club, Hearts for Heroes, student ambassadors, uh, the baseball program, uh, live streams, so many things. And really through all these things, I was able to learn something different from each, you know, whether it's something that I'm going to be able to use in the real world in a business class, whether that be, you know, writing out a check or how to balance a checkbook or whatever it may be, um, looking at the stock market 
or in something like baseball where you learn how to work with other people and you learn to build connections with those people or something like live stream like I mentioned where I was able to you know talk about sports which is something I love to do but I was also able to learn a valuable lesson from that and hone in on my public speaking skills while also making some great connections with some people and being able to work with you know anyone and everyone that I had to. So you see over the past four years has been nothing but great for me. Um, I feel like each year I've learned more and more and coming in, well, you know, in March, I felt as though Union Catholic did a great job of being able to convert on to online learning, you know, better than probably anyone because of, um, as we've mentioned, the virtual learning days that we did when we had snow days. So we kind of already knew the deal. And then come September, I feel as though we did a great job of integrating both in-person and at-home learning with also giving the ability for certain students to learn at home. And that's one thing that I really appreciate the UC did for me this year and did for its entire student body was they did so many events virtually, whether it's events for freshmen like this or the virtual open house or some events for seniors, whether it be the college information night, um, financial aid night, or even just having virtual visits with college reps that allow students to actually speak with somebody from their um, for, from colleges that they might be thinking about going to. So as much as I love being in person and seeing everybody, seeing all of the prospective students and families, you know, I think Union Catholic has done a great job of being able to still kind of hold that same sense of community while also being able to stay safe and socially distanced in the world that we live in today with all these virtual events. So. In this high school process, I would say um, take advantage of all these opportunities that uh, all, all these schools are giving, especially UC, come to all these virtual events, and hopefully come September, you will be part of the UC family. Thank you, Nick. I love that you talked about, uh, you know, those practical life skills that you, you got from uh, the classroom, right? Not just learning for tests and quizzes, but for, you know, real life situations. Thank you, Nick. Uh, and now I'll turn the program back to Dr. Regan. Great. Thank you so much there, John. Um, I want to remind everybody if they have any questions to please post them in the chat. I see that there already are a couple of questions in here and we'll spend probably the next five minutes or so answering those questions. Uh, the first question that we have, and this is uh, to be answered by our current students, by Yvonne and Nick, uh, talk to us about making friends. Was it hard to make friends, was the question. Um, I, I could go ahead with that one. Uh, it was not hard making friends at New Catholic. Right away, I don't know how the admissions committee does it, but I think they select some of the friendliest people in the world, which they've managed to do excellently. I know that starting our freshman year, the ice cream social, I was very, very nervous to interact with some of my new classmates, but our own student ambassadors were able to break down the barriers between us with wonderful icebreakers and different little games, as well as the delicious ice cream. But just remember, I have a little advice if you guys don't mind that everyone there is also looking to make friends. So right away, I don't think you should really be nervous. Just put yourself out there. And I know some of my closest friends did that for me and I couldn't be any more grateful for it. And Nick, I don't know if you had anything else to add. Um, yeah, honestly, if anything, I would say join clubs, join teams, because if you're interested in a certain club or a certain sport, the people that are joining those clubs have that same interest. So right then and there, you guys already have something in common right off the bat that you could talk about. It makes things a lot easier to, talk, uh, to make friends and it makes your first little conversation a lot less awkward. That's how I made a lot of my friends. Great, thank you. The next question is for our athletic director, Dave Luciano. How many varsity sports do we have? Can you talk a little bit about the soccer programs and how do we meet the coaches? Um, sure, we have 23 varsity sports at Union Catholic, so a wide range of offerings for our students. Um, as far as our soccer program, we do offer boys and girls soccer in the fall season. Um, we have a tremendous uh, turf field facility which houses all of our uh, teams when they have their home games and their practices. We're members of the Union County Conference um, and the NJSIAA. So we are playing um, the very best competition in soccer that the state of New Jersey has to offer, especially being a parochial school. Um, as far as you know, the opportunities to meet our coaches, uh, we actually hold an event 
uh, for our uh, registered families uh, in the springtime, uh, traditionally right around the beginning of May called Meet the Coaches Night, um, where our families would have the opportunity to come in, um, you know, hear some messages from the athletic department, break down and meet coaches specifically, learn about the offerings uh, in the summer leading up to freshman year, and then some things about our, uh, especially our fall sports tryouts. Um, as we uh, kind of uh, learn the way of what this springtime is going to bring us, uh, we will definitely, without a doubt, run that night. Hopefully it will be in person. If not, then we will make the proper adjustments and we would hold it virtually. Uh, but that is such an important night for our uh, prospective students, uh, our registered students, student athletes, and their families to meet our coaches. Um, and our coaches are always very excited to do that. And a question just came in there, Mr. Luciano, a follow-up, do you offer swimming? We do offer swimming. Uh, swimming traditionally is a wintertime sport. Um, with COVID this year, it has been a change to our sports seasons. So our swimming season has gotten pushed back a little bit this year. It will start uh, February the 1st instead of a typical November start date. Um, we have a co-ed team, so we swim against the other co-ed teams in Union County. Uh, we swim right down the street from Union Catholic at the JCC. Um, that's where we practice daily, and that's where we have all of our home meets. Uh, I would say traditionally we practice uh, three to four times a week after school, um, and we have uh, traditionally anywhere from about six to nine swim meets per season leading up to then the counties and the states. Great. Thank you, David. And we are quickly approaching 8 p.m., so this will be our last question for the panelists. Uh, the question is, how do you get leadership positions in clubs? And I'm going to throw this over to the uh, young the young alumni, our most recent alums, to answer that question. I'll probably have Mr. Rotundo talk about the clubs that he sees and how students can gain leadership positions in that as well. So I'll first throw it over to Janessa and then TJ. Leadership positions in clubs. So as a freshman, I... Uh, dipped my toes in the water and looked at a lot of clubs that I was interested in and um, they were welcoming whether if you whether you stay there for one meeting or if you were a dedicated member and you kept going to every meetings and participated in events and as I got older through the years um, I became more involved in a lot of the clubs that I was more interested in particularly students for human dignity because it was so focused on social justice um, that when it came time to elect a new um, board for the club, I actually ran for president. So it's just a matter of starting um, like with opening your options as broad as possible and then sticking with one throughout your years so that you eventually work your way up. That's how I see it. Yeah, and I'm gonna echo that sentiment as well. Um, it's all about the devotion and, and truthfully, um, how involved you want to be. As Janessa said, you know, it could be a club that, you know, you you come to once in a while, you have friendships from, it's something that you want to be attached to because you, you like the causes and you like being involved, or it could be something that, you know, is is truly a passion, something that you want to be involved with, something that um, you want to work your way to the top. And it's all about the connections that you make, you know, as a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, um, and ultimately uh, the ones that you hold dear and, and um, how you can continue to grow um, in, in each of those clubs. And, um, each of them affords the opportunity to to become a leader um, through you know devotion that you have, passion that you're you're interested in, and and ultimately the amount of time that you want to dedicate that the opportunities are there. I, I I agree with that. You know, time dedication is huge. In the performing arts company, we have an executive board um, that will elect uh, its leaders. Um, uh, from the upperclassmen. Uh, and the same with the forensics team. We have captains uh, that are based on uh, your commitment uh, to the team. Um, so uh, again, showing that you are committed, uh, giving it 100%. Uh, many students also here at Union Catholic start their own clubs. Um, so for example, uh, the students that started the Operation Smile Club, they, um, because they started it, they founded it at Union Catholic, they became the leaders. So if there is something uh, that uh, at Union Catholic that is not offered, it's very easy you may just begin it yourself. Uh, and, and there's a whole process for that. So again, 
become all that God calls you to be here at UC. And I see one last question that just came in. I'm going to uh, refer it over to Mrs. Thornton. Mrs. Thornton, will people receive confirmation that their application is complete? Absolutely. So um, applications were due December 1st. Um, and once you submit your application, you will get a automatic email that says the application has been received. We are in the process of receiving all the transcripts now. Once that information has been input, you will receive a confirmation that you uh, that, that it's complete and ready. If you have any questions on that, you can always check your parent portal and it'll be checked off and you'll see what may be missing. Um, if we are missing anything also, when we get right before Christmas, we'll send a reminder if a piece or something is missing. So we do communicate and you should always feel welcome to give us a call in the admissions office. We're always happy to check for you. Great, thank you so much, Mrs. Thornton. Well, we'd like to thank everyone for joining this webinar this evening. We'd like to thank all of our attendees, esteemed panelists. Thank you so much for your time and efforts this evening. Um, it was a great learning, I'm sure, for our audience. And I know that I really enjoyed myself here over the last hour. So thank you, everyone. Have a great night. And we'll see you real soon. Go Vikings.